Okay, so uh, today we are looking at uh, two tree traversal question. One is uh, 314 binary tree vertical order traversal. The other one is 987 vertical order traversal of a binary tree. Uh, they, they are pretty much the same question. Uh, just looking at the title, you, you can you can know that. Uh, just uh, move the binary tree from the end towards the beginning. You get the second question's number, uh, question title. Um, um, yeah, it's fascinating that uh, this this one get a lot of likes. This one get a lot more dislikes. Uh, so we have a binary tree, and we need to return the nodes values in this vertical order, uh, vertical order traversal kind of uh, uh, way. Uh, so as an example, we have a binary tree here. We are returning the values in the order like uh, nine, three, fifteen, twenty, and seven. So. Uh, we notice that, that there is this kind of grouping here, uh, so we, we, we will know why there is a grouping by just keep reading the sentence, uh, keep reading the question. For each node at the position x and y, so it's uh, horizontal and vertical positions, its left and right children will have position x minus 1, y minus 1, x plus 1, and y minus 1. So when we go down in vertical, we decrement by 1, for, so that's why the children all have a uh, the y value is one less than the parent, and for left and right, it's a decrement in increment in the uh, x values. Uh, so let's look at the, the example here. Uh, we have uh, let's say the root is zero zero. Uh, nine will be uh, minus one minus one. Twenty will be one minus one. Fifteen will become zero and uh, minus two. So they have the the node three and node fifteen. They have the same x values. That's why they are grouped together here. Uh, so this line here, whenever there is a vertical line touch the same nodes, touch some nodes, we report the values of the nodes in the order from top to bottom. So yeah, that's that's just saying that if the nodes have the same x values, the order of returning them is based on the y's, and. Uh, um, the the higher the y values it is uh, the the more uh, the the earlier we should return that so um, so uh, so it's uh, returning the nodes values from left to right and uh, when we have ties in the x in the x position we're actually returning the values uh, of nodes uh, with their y position. Uh, in the reserved or reversed order, so uh, it doesn't. Uh, it's a little bit awkward. So I guess if we just change this negative mi minus one rule to be plus one, then this root node will have zero zero as location. Uh, Fifteen will be zero two. Then if we just sort the the nodes by x and then by y, uh, or in the ascending order, then uh, three will come naturally before fifteen. So that that solves that the awkwardness of this. Um, and the another last thing is if two nodes have the same position, the values of the nodes is reported first is the smaller one. Okay, so it's a sort the the if, if we treat everything as a, a three three values, x and y and the, the nodes values, uh, we pretty much just sort the whole thing in the um, ascending order. Uh, whenever we have ties in x, we look at the y. Whenever we have ties in the y as well, we look at the, the nodes value. So that's that's pretty much uh, it. And uh, when we sort everything, we do a group by on the x and return that. Uh, so so that's pretty much the uh, the what the question is asking. It's a, a group by x, sort by x y and the nodes value, and return that uh, as a, as a list. And. Uh, um, so I guess for doing this, uh, uh, we can we can uh, we can use a hash map to um, uh, you know just do whatever uh, traversal of the nodes in this tree and just annotating every node with x and y values, and we collect that those informations and do uh, the uh, do the uh, group by and sorting. So. Um, yeah, actually, along the way that we are parsing through the nodes, we can just uh, do the group uh, group by naturally using a hash map. So we, the key will be the x values, the uh, the values will be the y value, and the nodes nodes value. So uh, then uh, then then we just sort the uh, keys in the dictionary, 
um, um, and it, it, it has already done the group by so I've in in each group uh, uh, we will just sort by y and the notes value um, so that's pretty much it uh, in terms of time and space complexity, the space is definitely uh, linear uh, number of nodes because for every node we have to store the x and y location for them. Uh, so that's a uh, uh, big O of n. And for time complexity, uh, that's pretty much the sorting. Um, um, if we have, uh, uh, in, I guess in the worst case, because we sort in terms of x, then y, then the nodes value. Uh, the most the complexity will come into in in in, in uh, when we have a more diverse x. So that will happen when the tree is a uh, big V kind of shape, or it's just a single link list uh, that uh, every node just have exactly one right child, or you know that kind of case. When so in that case, uh, the x are going to be all different. Then we have to do a sort on that. So it's a uh, uh, and log in. Uh, that's the worst case time complexity. So with that, I'm gonna just start coding this. Uh, it's uh, it's a relatively easy one. Uh, uh, so we're gonna call this uh, group by, uh, which is a dictionary of uh, uh, tuples or list. Um, Uh, because for every x location, it can have multiple nodes, and every nodes will be for every nodes we will store the y value and the nodes value. So it's uh, uh, the key will be the x, and the the value it will be a tuple of y and the nodes value. Uh, so I'm just gonna use the list here. Um, so uh, we can choose whatever. Uh, Free traversal uh, methods. Um, all we need is pretty much just to populate this group by uh, hash map. Uh, doesn't really matter. Mm. Y and new dot wall and. Uh, we're gonna do this recursively on left and right. Yeah, so based on my analysis to let the sorting be a little bit easier, uh, we, we change the minus one rule to be plus one. Um, uh, let me move myself over. Uh, then we just do this uh, annotation. Um, after this, we just need to do the sorting and uh, returning the values. So um, for the for the x positions in the uh, sorted order. We are looking at the, the y values, and uh, it's sorted by first by the y, then by the nodes value. So for um, tuple in sorted uh, gpby x, we're returning the nodes value. So it's the second uh, second element in the tuple. So. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. Well, let me try to see if it works. Uh, why? Uh, oh, okay. I need to pass in the uh, the uh, initial location for the root nodes. Uh, Ah, mm. uh, sorry. Uh, 
Oh, my brain is not working today. So, yeah, if I have child, I, I recursively call this to go even further and annotate those nodes. Otherwise, I, I would, wouldn't bother not calling this function again. Uh, so, th yeah, this uh, should work, I think. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, it's working and uh, very quick, very quick, actually. So let's copy this and uh, paste over here. Um, Uh, let's quickly read through what this question is different. Um, so this is a slightly different. If the two nodes are in the same row and column, basically in the same position, the order should be from left to right. So it's the order that uh, they are traversal. So since that uh, we are doing left and right, and uh, so uh, a quick fix uh, to get our code working for this question will be just um, uh, when we sort the uh, in in the previous question we sort by uh, we sort by y x we sort by x first uh, you know sort by x and sort by y uh, since this is a tuple here it's a y and the notes value and then in this question then uh, we definitely want to sort by x uh, we want to sort by y as well but uh, after that it's a left to right so uh, we will just uh, uh, we will just uh, depends on the natural order that uh, uh, the the values are added to this. So uh, so we we'll just uh, we we'll just ask uh, the sort on the tuple to be on on the y values alone. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, and. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's not working. <sighs> oh, this this question has a nasty. Uh, oh, okay, so so yeah, so so this question is slightly different. Uh, this one wouldn't have a non-input. Uh, Let me see if this works. All right. Um, yeah, I, I, just adding that, uh, uh, th they will be accepted. And uh, this is quite random, I guess. Um, in this question, the, the same solution, same code, it's uh, beating everyone. But uh, uh, in here, it's uh, it's pretty much the, on the bottom of the stack. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's the question for today.